Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. It is a gorgeous day. I just did my dentures versus food lesson for this week. I just completed that with this same camera. And today's lesson was about bananas. I know the struggle of eating a banana because when I had my immediate dentures, I tried to eat, I thought, bananas are soft, I can eat that. And it felt like I was trying to bite through a brick. <laughs> it just hurt. The amount of pressure it takes to eat a banana, we don't think about once we're used to our dentures and stuff. But when you have your immediate dentures and you're dealing with the healing process and you're dealing with the pain of the dentures being all over your gums and everything else, it's trying to bite through a banana is like trying to bite through a brick. It just hurts and when I had my immediate dentures I got so pissed off because I couldn't bite through a banana I got so mad that I just overrid my overwrote my brain and just forced myself to take that first bite out of a banana and I wished I had recorded that but I wasn't thinking about that at the time not like now. Now I think about recording things, you know. I think about things that I, that I should, you know, record when it comes to my dentures and things like that. But I wasn't thinking at that time I was an angry person. I cussed and swore a lot in my videos. I smoked in my videos. I vaped in my videos. Um, I was an angry person. I was angry at myself for getting dentures. And I was depressed because I couldn't bite through a banana, um, biting through a simple hamburger. You would think, you know, hamburgers are soft. It's just crumbled up meat that's cooked. It should be soft. It should, bread is soft. So even trying to eat a hamburger, just a cooked hamburger on bread at first was a severe challenge for me because it hurt. It didn't so much hurt to chew it hurt more to bite because this part of your mouth is much more sensitive under your nasal passages right here where the four front teeth are is much more sensitive than any other part of your mouth down here yeah you've got some sensitivity down here and stuff but most people experience the pain right here when they try to bite because when they pull all your teeth they're shocking your sinus, your sinal system, and that's all connected. And I felt pain in my eyeballs when I would try to bite. And I didn't even, I started recalling that when I was doing my video about biting through a banana. So I warned people in that video that if you're in your immediate dentures and you're in the healing process and you're dealing with the pain of the dentures and everything else that it's going to be extremely difficult to bite through a banana. It brought back all those memories and it's good to remember things like that because then you can see how far you've come. Then you can see just how far, how much progress you've made. Now granted I've had my dentures for a little over four and a half years and I've made a ton of progress. I can eat anything. There's nothing I can't eat. But to recall those memories and to sit back and, and basically look at myself and go, wow, I was one pissed off person back then. And I was. I was angry. Because before I got my teeth pulled, I could eat a banana. Even though all I had was broken, rotten nubs, and you've seen my picture. All I had was broken, rotten nubs on the top and rotten teeth on the bottom right here in the front. But I could eat a banana, you know. Uh, I could eat a hamburger. Um, I could still rip chicken from the bone. Even with my rotten, broken, nasty teeth, I could eat chicken off a bone. So those things that I was trying to do when I first got my immediate dentures and I was dealing with all the pain of healing and dealing with the sores from the dentures and the tenderness in the gums and everything else, all those memories just came rushing back to me. And 
I had to go in the room and sit down and watch a couple of my older videos. And man, I was just a I was just an angry person. I was I, That's who I was back then. So I can't say I didn't like myself. I don't like the way I was because I, I never put myself down. That's who I was. That was my personality at the time. That was my personality from dealing with years of pain in my mouth and headaches caused by my rotten teeth and health issues because of all the poison running through my system. That's who I was. That's the person I was. I was an angry individual. I didn't smile. I didn't laugh. It was virtually impossible to get me to laugh at anything because I was always in pain. So when I got my dentures, I had all my teeth ripped out, and I got my dentures, I was excited at first. Then the second day, the pain set in. And the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day, and the sixth day, all the way up to the ninth day, I didn't think I was going to make it. I didn't think I was ever going to eat again. <clears throat> On the twelfth day, when I got my stitches out, Wow, what a world of difference. It's amazing how those little stitches being pressed into your gums constantly with the pressure of the dentures can cause so much pain. The day I got the stitches out, my wife and I went out and we ate burritos and I had no pain, no tenderness. I mean, other than the fact that I was still healing, I had tenderness, but I should say the pain decreased by 70%. So the amount of pain I was feeling while I was eating that burrito was minor compared to what I had gone through for almost two weeks. So those memories come rushing back to me. And I love the fact that I'm doing these food videos to teach people how to eat with their dentures because it helps me remember what I went through so I can explain that to people and explain to people how this might have how this is going to feel when you try to do it with immediate dentures um, for example with my apple eating video on my dentures versus food channel I simply said if you're in your immediate dentures you're not going to be able to do this if you're using adhesive you might be able to do this but it requires technique and practice so, if you haven't checked out that channel yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click, click this link in the upper left-hand corner right here, this one, that link right there, and go to my channel and check it out. Um, I, I think it'll greatly, greatly uh, help a lot of people with immediate dentures and people that are struggling with eating food. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you never forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.